from the point that it starts in the snow until it reaches the ocean, you're a part of that process for just a short time. Bumpy, rolling, tumbling, white. Well, shall we start with the chicken heads? The little frozen uh, clods of snow after things warm up and then freeze. Fast. Water's fast. You've got your basic ice, you've got your sludge, you've got your corn snow. Recirculating. Cold. Sticky. Holes are sticky sometimes. You know, it's cool, refreshing, it's... Uh, Big. <laughs> the powder, you got the corduroy. Wave trains and... Swirly. Kind of get this rhythm of a rolling motion. Feeling that life kind of flowing through you. Or riding on an impulse in a conduit to the bottom of the mountain and there, there really isn't a lot of resistance. It's like, you know, weather, you know, moods and things like that. Snow changes, you know, sometimes the snow's angry, sometimes the snow's blissful, so. Some holes, if you go into, they just flush you right out. In some holes, they will trash you, window shade you. You're stuck in there for a while. <laughs> and you can either hang on until it flushes you out or swim out. You do have to have considerable patience at times, and um, and so you can't really ice fish in a hurry. You <laughs> You're experiencing moving with haste and or moving with grace. Uh, that's why I ski. It almost seems surreal, the way it freezes and the way that we're able to actually use gravity to slide down on, on the stuff. You can make it whatever you want. I mean, you can, you can scare yourself as much as you want. I've had a couple of Serious falls, I guess, in the backcountry when I was by myself. One time I took a pretty bad swim and another boat was coming down and he didn't see me. Oh, he ran into my face. I was just, you know, terrified. I was frozen, so I didn't know what I was looking at and I didn't know how to get to where I needed to be and I didn't really need to know where I needed to be, so. When I looked at the tree, the place where my head hit was just around the corner from a place where there was a two-inch stob that was sharp. I didn't know enough to be, you know, really scared, as scared as I should have been. You get that kind of adrenaline going. But if you're in the wrong place, consequences can be pretty severe. In anything you do, if you like uh, put your heart and soul and mind and strength into it, then it becomes a place where you commune. In a place where distractions are, they are gradually shed what's left is awareness of the moment. You get to see the changes from day to day. You get to, I mean, you literally watch the mountain grow or recede in snow, and it's, it's wonderful. As soon as you get on the water, it's just like, okay, I can relax now. It allows you to feel liberated and, and, uh, and yourself at the same time, the self that you want to be. Isn't that what you know, life is all about, is trying to move yourself into the position of being the person you want to be?
Well, where are we going next? 